Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the 64 gig Wi-Fi and 3G iPad. Um, this just came out today in Australia. Um, I also got the uh, protection plan, um, the anti-glare uh, fingerprint protector for the iPad. Um, I also got a case for it. So I'm going to get into the iPad unboxing last, um, just because that is the the main event basically. So this is just. Um, uh, Signet's uh, case, I guess, which is um, a glossy book style case for the iPad, I guess. Um, it just says that it protects it against wear and tear. Okay, so obviously in the package you get your case here, um, which is like really soft, it's really nice. Um, inside it has like a suede lining in it, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then obviously you just put your iPad into here, um, you slide it in through here, and it's obviously all padded here so you don't scratch your iPad on the way in. And then you can just go ahead and use it, that's pretty sweet. And you got all your cutouts on the side there for the device. So I'll just put that to the side. Um, then actually I got an anti-glare uh, screen protector for the um, iPad. And obviously on the back it just tells you um, that they've made one now for the iPad. Um, and it has like a matte finish to it and everything. So I'll go ahead and open this. So in the box you get your, um, this is like a printout of the iPad. Just tells you what it is. And then you get your protector here. You get two of them, um, which is pretty awesome. Everybody's probably already seen uh, what the Apple Care looks like uh, on the inside, so you probably don't really need to see that. Um, it's just protection, basically, in case anything fails on it and you need support. I think it's up to a two-year warranty or something. But uh, yeah, we're getting the main unboxing now. Here is the box itself. Now obviously the, the only difference really between the 3G and the Wi-Fi is that you can get internet anywhere with the 3G versus the Wi-Fi. Um, it's really awesome that I managed to get this uh, in Australia. Like I said, the first day opening is generally the hardest to get it because everybody goes out and uh, buys it. But um, I know some people are trying to scalp it on eBay for like uh, $2,000 and people were paying it. It was ridiculous. So I thought I might as well just wait in Australia. Wow, that looks sweet. There's actually a bit of weight to this. I thought it would be very lightweight, but it's actually got... Um, a lot of people complain about how heavy it is, but this is actually pretty... This is a really good weight to it. It's not too heavy and not too light. It's sort of... I don't know. It feels like the right weight in your hands. That's really awesome. So on the back, um, you obviously have, I'll zoom in here, you've got the uh, Apple logo on there. Uh, you've obviously got your uh, 3G um, receiver right along here. And they add the plastic bit so that the 3G can easily pass through uh, versus metal, um, obviously. And then you've got the iPad initial and then the 64 gig down there uh, and all that other great stuff. So we'll go ahead and see what what else is in the box. I'm um, sorry about the lack of enthusiasm, I'm really tired right now. Um, I haven't been getting much sleep, but um, yeah. So in here, you just get your design by Apple in California. I believe this is probably instructions. Okay, the um, SIM removal tool. And your instructions right there. So in here, you get your um, uh, special adapter for the iPad. You actually need it power because it takes more power than the iPhone, obviously. Now, they don't give you a dock or anything uh, with this, which um, is kind of bad, I guess, on Apple's part, um, because with the iPhone, they used to give it to you, but they don't with this. So this is like your inverter here. You plug it in, and it has to be used by this because it does use more power than your um, iPhone. So I'll go ahead and take the plastic off of this. That is a very glossy screen, I have to say. It's probably one of the glossiest that I've ever seen. Um, but it looks awesome, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so this is going to be the first boot of it.
Now, obviously, it's going to ask you to connect to iTunes. It's going to be the first thing you have to do before you use it. Um, okay, so a little status message there. Yeah, and you have to connect it to iTunes. So um, a review will be on the way of this. Um, this is just a really quick unboxing. Um, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so I've um, I've been using this for about a couple of hours now. And um, after trying this, I've got to say I'm really impressed with this. It went above and beyond um, pretty much everything I thought of it. I thought it was going to be basically a giant iPod Touch, but it really is um, far, far superior than the iPod Touch. Um, it is really, really good. And I'll show you, this isn't going to be a review of any sorts. The review will be a lot later, but um, uh, probably after a week or so of this, just so I can fully test out everything and make sure it's all good. But um, I'll go ahead and show you some of the sick features that I found um, on this device. First of all, I'm going to show you YouTube and how it actually does work on this, the real YouTube, not the fake YouTube. Okay, so as you can see, this is an overview um, of the iPad here. Now, I changed the wallpaper. Now, you're probably going to notice that, well, the settings have changed. Uh, everything is really fluent on this, actually. Um, like I said, this isn't a review just yet. Um, that will be a bit later. But if I want to go ahead and change the wallpaper, I'll go here and whatever wallpaper I want to set. And then you get the option, you know, do you want to set your home screen, your uh, lock screen, or both? Um, I don't want to change it to that, so I'll just keep cancel uh, and this is obviously 3G you also have the same stuff like airplane mode and cellular data and all that stuff you get in the iPhone on this um, obviously you can't make calls that's blatantly obvious but um, the mail app has changed obviously um, I haven't set mine up just yet so YouTube was a pretty big feature for me and I checked it um, just before I got this um, I checked whether YouTube did work and thanks to HTML5, um, you actually can view the real YouTube. Uh, not fake, not the app, none of that. The real YouTube. So, um, I'll go ahead and click one of the videos being watched now. Um, whatever that is. So, you can see that there's a difference in this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. As you can see, that says HTML5. Now, I'll get to that just a bit later, but I'm going to go ahead and click play. Okay, so um, that was just a quick preview of the video. Works perfectly, absolutely excellently. So I click number two, works fluently, excellent. Everything works perfect. And what you need to do, if you don't know how to do this, you want to go to youtube.com, all right? youtube.com slash html5. M, L, and then 5. And you click go. I'm currently in the beta. And it will say here, if you can see that right there, uh, YouTube HTML5. And it will say, leave, obviously I'm in it, so it says leave the HTML5 beta. Now, um, if you want to join it, it will say join the HTML5 beta. If you have an iPad, you really want to do this. Um, it it basically plays H.264 videos instead of Flash videos. Um, and it works excellently. Really works great. And I, I really ask you and urge you to go ahead and join the HTML5 beta because it shows interest to YouTube that, you know, people really do want HTML5. And this is the only way um, that we're going to get you know, the real YouTube and other video sites like Vimeo um, being able to be viewed on the iPad <coughs> and the iPhone and the iPod Touch. So I really urge you to join that beta, um, even if you're on a computer, uh, whatever, it's not going to affect you in any way. Um, just join it to show them that there's interest um, and then hopefully they'll switch over to it. Now you can obviously click add bookmark and all that good stuff. And just like the real Safari, new page. Uh, let's see, Vimeo. Um, so Vimeo.com. Um, and this is using HTML5 as well. Uh, if I want to put this full screen, I can. Um, and it, it really is. I'll, I'll go ahead and switch this so you can see. 
just a bit better. I'm not going to reveal too much in this video because obviously this is not the review. This is just a quick look at the iPad. Um, and then obviously the icons are more spaced and there's, there's more space on the dock and it's really amazing. But I just wanted to show you that real quick feature on YouTube. Please sign up to the HTML5 beta. Um, it just shows interest to different sites that everybody wants to use it and so that they can ultimately abandon Flash. I have no problem with Flash, um, but it does use up a lot of resources. It does get the computer hot and yeah, it just HTML5 is a lot better. Um, everybody's pretty much going to switch over to it, so do yourself a favor and go and check it out. Um, it really will be worth your time and stay tuned for the review because that is on the way probably a week from now. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and if you like the video, uh, please subscribe.